Well, all right. Say, sweet talk. What do you know about that all gas, no brakes? Man, I heard about that all gas, no brakes. Don't think they're gonna let me on. I ain't got a damn thing to talk about. Boo, they talk about everything. This is all gas, no brakes. Hey, what is up, everybody? You know, I always gotta think about what the people will say with an intro to these things after he does that beautiful countdown. You normally just put the money on the dresser, but this, you got it, yeah. <laughs> She slap got it actually, down. yeah. <laughs> and slap that thing like down. Bag of <laughs> Don't say nothing, just give it here. <laughs> <laughs> so guess what, yo? Because of that. Yes, we are here for man. a good time and not a long time. Not Amen. A long time. Amen. Let's get it gone. Amen. Yo, we got the founder. He, uh, had, he had to check me. Of what now? He said of big what? F. He said founder. capital F. Big F. Big F. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Capitalized. You got to have a big F. The founder of we, the Black mm. Podcasters Association. Big Corey. shit. Big I mean, shit. Big like, shit. good grief. Corey. I was about to say, I got a name, yo. Yeah. Corey. <laughs> yo, but Corey, you're the president, son. You know, from when I first met you, I met the president, uh, the, the founder, the president. All of you know, I got to go back to founder, the big F. Right, the yo, big son, F. Your son, that's crazy. Uh, from when I met you, you was a cool cat. NYC all the way. NYC. Yeah. This is super dope. Super dope. I'm Definitely. happy to have you here. Drove away from New York. Definitely. We, we late in the motherfucker out here. We up late, but you know, that's how New Yorkers do. Yeah. Traffic. Yeah. yeah. Tons of traffic. Thank you for guys for having me here. Yeah, I welcome to the DMV. It. Yes, tons of traffic. Yes. Welcome. And we got Almost traffic like too. being at home. Yeah, I was going to say. We got traffic yeah. too, but you ain't dealing with no traffic at this time. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Just daring shit. Yeah. Pretty much a straight shot. I thought oh, you were a straight yeah. shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you could let the people know your name, what it is you do, even though know, I even stated it yes. earlier, what it is you do, where they can find you, and all that good stuff. Please, my brother. My name is Corey Gums. I am the founder of the Black Podcasters Association. Um, started about three years ago as a Facebook group. It just grew into an online community. Um, besides that, I do a podcast strategic, uh, strat- I'm a podcast strat- uh, strategist. I help people um, and entrepreneurs uh, create podcasts. Um, I'm a community builder. I'm actually moving more into the community side of building things for people as a consultant. So, wow. web dev- web developer, producer. Um, wow. A man of many hats. That's yeah, we're many hats. Full sale graduate. Oh, and founder of blackpodnews.com. Oh, and founder yeah, of Say it again. Say it again. I'm the founder of blackpodnews.com. Oh, Black Pod News. I thought he said something. I the only I'm trade a subscriber. Newsletter. I was going to say, that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> Dot com. Dot com. Oh, boop, boop. Dot yeah. com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's the only it's the only trade newspaper for black podcasters in the industry that I'm trying to really build and we've been growing for the past damn that past like eight months. So Okay. And we're getting a lot of support. So I really That's appreciate dope. that. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm man, I'm happy to have you here, my brother. Thank That's you so, so much dope. for coming. That's what I said when he said, I'm like, where you find him at? Yo, I, I found him on Facebook. I'll give you the story. I'm gonna give you the rundown in a few <laughs> minutes. First, I'm gonna get you to say where they can. Yo, we got a special guest. Yes. Up <laughs> I mean, tap it up for the special every time guest, she comes. Madame. Every you time, know what I'm don't space. forget the space. You know what I'm saying? Space, and my please, girl. Please, please give me space. space like where can the they find you right now? Because yeah. we talked earlier. Where can they? Where can we fucking find you? <laughs> I am you? on TikTok, people. I yes. swear, yes. I'm on TikTok. Yes. TikTok. Find me on TikTok, yes. Madam Space. Mm. On all social medias, but if you want to find my attention or you want to know what I'm doing, I swear it's TikTok. It got me in a chokehold. All right. I swear. TikTok right. got TikTok. in a chokehold. I'm a- TikTok, y'all got my friend. It do. It do. Wow, they got my it's friend, different. Lord. It's they different got on there. They got my it is friend, different Lord. It's different on there. It's a different universe on that mug. I Definitely. Ain't I ain't gonna front. It is. Once I learned how to throw that ass in the circle, I'm on dead. Hey, you're welcome. Not dip and dab or whatever. My little daughter, she be taking over. So, I, I, you know, she get me banned every couple. I'm done. Every couple. <laughs> I'm done. So then I got started. Now I'm running out of emails. <laughs> yo, we are running out of emails, man, yo. Yes, she, she keep getting me banned. So I, we be back oh with my another God. Um, Exclusive, exclusive. Definitely. Lady that is bad due yes. to all the emails you use. What we'll can we back. find you at, yo? Hey, this is your girl, Quanta Diva Violin, Quanta Violin. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Soul Sister TV and always at All Gas No Breaks. You can always find your girl because I'm everywhere you want to be. Everywhere you want to be. Check that out because hey. she is everywhere you want to be. Thank you for everything right. you've been doing. 
With all gas, no brakes. I'm no super problem. proud of you. I just Love need you. my forty dollars in that. <laughs> yo, I tell you, I, I tip you the extra five. I tell you, I five more the table. Okay. Yo, all right, thank four you. five. Hey, yo, shout out to my boy at Rex hey. Corollis, the engineer extraordinaire over Definitely. there doing his thing. One He's and my only. man, the one and only. Love that guy. Shout Love out to my party. boy OG underscore Frank. Hey. Not able to be here, but we got my girl Madam Space filling yes, in, so do. it's gonna flow. Yes. Corey. So yes. Man. The big ass. Big Can we talk ass. about that? Capitalize. Can we talk about talk the about huge it. ass? Talk about it. Talk about it. What is that for? Do you for? have anything you'd like to say about the huge ass? I mean, you know, um, one thing I learned in this space, you got to claim what you do. Um, it's been an up and down battle. So, mm. like, you up know, it's just down, in and out. the it's challenges all and just trying to figure out how to create a community that mm. benefits its members and brings value and its personal challenges as well as professional challenges in that so it's like yeah keep it you know, first energy. you're like oh i'm just gonna start this thing and just see where it goes and then you know it's like nah i'm, I'm i founded this this yeah. is it's Your turned, baby. yeah it's turned into just like this wonderful community of people that uh i call a lot my friends that's so, a big deal yeah. though but it's more it's more than friends though we don't get that oh, no, from yeah. our community all the time it's normally a bunch of pe- negativity i've been trying people. to get y'all out to this yeah i've been trying yeah because you gotta feel it. Yeah. It really. Yeah. I don't know Community. when I go there. So we went to Af- shout out Afros and audio po- uh, podcast conference. I Talib. Was about to say Africa. I was about to say. Lord, I thought you went to Baltimore. I went to I didn't Baltimore. Know y'all was Africa, Lord. I, I missed the trip <laughs> to the motherland, Lord. I didn't mean to do that. I no, no. The, the name of the conference is the Afro Audio Podcast Conference. Oh, okay. Yeah. Was in shout house. out to Talib. Yes. So. They had the conference, and man, every time I go, I was going to say, it. when I leave it, I feel, like, refreshed. I feel yeah. like, yo, I'm not doing this for not. Like, I'm doing this for, there's a reason behind this, and there's people that I can reach out to to assist me, or even just motivate me, because sometimes yeah. I don't even reach out to many people all the time, but yeah. I reach out to this man. I'll call him out yeah. the blue random. He always answers his phone, really? and we have conversation. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I try to I try to make myself accessible to all the members in the community. Oh wow! Um, we was just talking about something similar to that. <laughs> yeah, I think it's important um, to be accessible. Yes, it's not. You know, I always tell me. Are you able to be accessible to everyone? No, and I think um, I think as we've grown and things are getting bigger, I tell people all the time it's not scalable. So mm, not scalable. I got you know, scalable. Yeah, like you, you give me why you can because at some point the plan is to have it as a global organization, and you won't be able to reach. I won't be able to do do what I really want to do, which is I'm gonna do my best, but I'm not gonna be able to, you know, have those those hour conversations and Mm -hmm. all of those things. I rip them for an hour. I do. I do rip at you for an hour. I mean, you know, you know, I enjoy. I'm passionate about this. But but our conversations be passionate about it. You know, me and you, we kick it. One thing I loved about when I first reached out to you, and I would give everybody a quick story. Yeah. I was on Facebook. We've been doing this for a minute. Yeah. And I was like, remember one time I came, I said, come on, like, I got to find where there is more of us or yeah. where we can be. So I went on Facebook and I started hunting. That's why I started social media. All and right. he had a page, the black, was it called the BPA there on Facebook at first? It was the BPA, it was the Black Podcasting Group because it it originally started as a placeholder because I couldn't think of a name. Okay. Okay. So, so it was the Black Podcasting and then Group. People just like just kept calling it that, and they were just like, "All right, I'm gonna keep it for now." They, they gave it to you. Yeah, they yeah. I just put it up there because I was like, I just need to start the group, and then I'll figure mm. it out later. So that's how I found the group. Okay. That's wow. how I found the group. Yeah. Wow. And while I was on the group, I straight Good up name. reached out to my man and was like, "Yo, I love what you're doing. I've been doing this for this long, and I want to help. I want to yeah. be a part of it. I want to somehow dive in and help because this is what I've been doing." And he gave me game. He told me about the uh, conference. I went to the conference. I was like, wow. We, once again, how I always say, when people yeah. always say, we don't work together. We don't work together in certain cities and stuff of like that bullshit we keep saying. Mm-hmm. Everybody says. Yes. And I, we, I said, we don't do that. Yeah. The BPA is that. That's what I like. Afro's okay. Audio Podcast is that. We do work together. That's right. And that's what that's I enjoyed about wrong. it. That's what I enjoyed about it. That's why I still enjoy it about it. Why, why I pay for another subscription. Okay. Hey. Okay. That's dope. Well, you know, I'm working on that, making it pay for itself. So yeah. yeah. Hopefully, in 2024, yeah. we'll launch some things that's going to make. Like I said, I'm always looking to bring more value to the community. So okay. I'm working on. I'm working on recession proof in the community, right? You know, the, yes, the goal. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's amazing. The that's goal, amazing. The goal. The goal is to help people make, you know, to achieve their goals, and a lot of podcasters want to monetize. So yes, that do. is the goal. So you always, hear, you know, you always hear me talk about it, but um. 
It's just trying to figure out how to make it work um, in a way that everybody benefits. Right. Mm. Right. Instead Space. Of, instead of downing each other. Man, and, and they don't. Hmm. They do not. They do not. I, I know. I watch, they I watch, do not down each other. I watch well. a bunch of arguments all day, and I'm like, why? I'm probably in those arguments. Uh, <laughs> oh, I live on, on my personal page. Yeah, on your personal page. I'm about to say, yeah, you're, not, all, not on a, you're, you're Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde yeah, when it comes to know. podcasting in your personal page. Yeah. We're not going to touch on that. No. Because he will upset you all. But, if you don't upset me, you make me so laugh. I crack the fuck up because I love that type of shit. That's part two. I poke the bear all the time. <laughs> exactly. yeah, that's part three and four. Exactly. <laughs> Yo, Madam Space. You know, I love when you're here because I love, uh, my whole, our whole goal was to game the youth. Mm -hmm. You youthful. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You have to ask my brother a question in regards to, he's a full sale guy as well, too. I know you had a question there. What was that question you had earlier? I have a, a bunch of questions. Shit, but, hit him up. My first question is, what made you start the organization in the first place? Mm. Like, what mindset were you in when you was like, you know what, we need to come together and unify? Like, what space were you in? Because this is a it's a major thing in the black community in itself. Dope. And you know, podcasting is coming up. We can't we can't like not look at it. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely a part of the culture now. So for you to build this community, what was your mindset at that time? So what was it? It was right before co it was right before COVID. Yeah, twenty nineteen. It was right before COVID and um I was like like a lot of people, you know, I was trying to learn more about this podcasting space. Now I knew about podcasting in the early two thousands. Okay. And then, like, I life happened, and then I, I got right, reached right. into it. I didn't know it. nothing about podcasts. And, um, yeah, so I was, in, I was in a bunch of Facebook groups, and I kept seeing, like, these conversations. Now, back then, there wasn't a lot of black people in it. Okay. So, you know, there was these, like, major groups that people were going to. There were some black groups, but, the you know, the question was always, like, how do I start a podcast? How do I start a podcast? Or how do I do this? Or how do I do that? And um, I was seeing from... Our counterparts yeah. that were or that that are yeah. you know, I'm gonna just keep it real. I, you know, it's it's white male, predominantly white male, upper income college graduates that mm -hmm. that were that basically have podcasting on lock. So it was like I'm seeing conversations, and it was like somebody would ask a question, they'd be like, "Oh yeah, just go by the," and I'm like, and I hate to, I don't at the time I did this, I don't do this anymore, but I was like, you know, people don't have resources like that. Somebody doesn't have yeah. resources to go buy a five hundred dollar mic. Right. Spend a thousand dollars on a on a on a on a on a top tier interface or right. all these things and then, and it was like something was getting lost in translation and as I started speaking to more and more um getting cool, cool with black, more black podcasters there was a, like the translation thing like like when they would hire a producer a white producer it was like they were like nah that's not how you do it and people want to be themselves in their podcast yeah. not code switch and I was talking to my homegirl about it one day and she was like well why don't you just start your own. And I'm competitive, and it's like I felt I took that I mean, Michael Jordan. I took that personal. Yeah. I was like, I felt like she was coming at me, and I was like, all right, let's go. And she was like, all right, I'm gonna help you set the Facebook group up. And she helped me because I didn't know nothing about Facebook groups. Who was who was a girlfriend that helped you do that? Yeah, shout uh, her out, Carly. What's up, Carly? Yeah, shout out, Carly. Shout, yeah, shout out, Carly. Yeah, I, I owe Carly. You know, um, but I like shouting out people that that yeah. introduces the shit. Well, I, you know, I don't like I, you know I, until I speak to the person, I don't like putting them out on putting you know, them putting out them out there. there. Yeah. If they say I, 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 I don't think there. she have a problem with it, okay. but we ain't but, put out her last name. We ain't talking cool. about the house stuff, so let's keep going. Yeah. But um, <laughs> she 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 was like, yo, you know, and then she helped me set it up. And That's then, right. Um, the funny part was we started it in March of 2020, mm. which was when COVID hit New York City and you know hit America, and it just exactly hell just broke loose, and we just started getting all these. Everybody started jumping into podcasting. That's right. But the main motivation was I, I didn't like the conversations, and I was like, we need a place where you're not being, you don't feel like you're being, because people would be like, yo, why are you saying this? Like, well, like I, you know, I'm just asking a question, and I was right. like, you have a safe space where you can be you, we can talk, you know, you, in our vernacular, mm -hmm. you know, um, mm -hmm. just a safe space. Yeah. And um, and when I first saw, I really didn't know like what I was going to do. I was just like, we just need to have a space. And then I started finding other black podcasting groups after that, but um, I was like, I didn't really find much activity Before, going on in them. Yeah. So I was like, mm -hmm. well, I'm just going to do my own. And then um, and just trying to figure activity. out. Then I was just trying to figure out, like, what is this going to be? That's awesome. So That's so dope. I can say, I, I know, I, you know what I'm saying, we just met, but I appreciate you even taking yes. that step because it's definitely a piece that's missing in the community. It and, is. I, and I can yeah. say I'm blessed to meet you. Thank you. you know what I'm saying? Same here. Same yeah. here. And I wish you nothing but the best for the 
in the future. For real. Oh, he he, he going to get for none real, but the real. best. I'm gonna yeah. tell you because he got Santi on his team, and we going to exactly. fucking kill him. Yeah. So we got don't all forget crazy. the super. All we gas, no super. break. Podcast is a we we on. We are part of the association, and we taking over. And, and, and what and what you do on the association is amazing because he provides classes. Yes, he has uh, motivational speakers. Yes, he has uh, people. I mean, people from Urban One that work. People that are work for Steve Harvey show are part of the association. We got we got some crazy people wow. like on wow. the on the association. Yeah. How, how many members now we have in the association? When I checked last, it was one hundred and sixty. Damn, amazing. So, yeah, it's a start. Nah, that, I mean it's better than zero. When when you got your first, yeah. one, how many people you had initially when you first started the association? Um, to pay about fifty. That's exactly. Yeah, yeah. more Dang. than double. Oh, I'm not. I'm not diminishing it. Trust oh, yeah, me. I know but, you're not, you know, more than double. But what I'm, you what you doing? I said I'm competitive. I'm like I, I got a goal that I set yeah, for myself. Yeah, so I was like, he's like next. But exactly. You, you know, I was just talking to a, a friend of mine today, and I was like, yo, we have to enjoy the climb. And I'm not saying you're not. I'm just saying it. Just when you want to go out to that the, mountain, you don't just pop that that, that 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 shit at the top. And if you just take a you helicopter up there, you want you definitely to. Definitely want to. Definitely. But you gotta enjoy that 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 sweat. I that, want to wake up and be a size twelve, but guess what? You gotta sweat that motherfucker <laughs> out. I'm gonna have to sit in my. I'm gonna have to do some, about three more sit up. Three more. <laughs> just, just you three. Got, and do the one where you make your, your and one squat <laughs> and one squat. And y'all might as well hide your husbands after that. Oh, hide them. Hide That's them. That's right. It's hide going your down. kids. Hide your wife. <laughs> hide all that because I'm coming outside. Hey, Quanda, hey. man. Got my man Corey here. Quanda, do you have any questions? I do. Man, Corey. I do. So I know you said you started this and it branched off to something else. And so what's next for you, you think? What's next? You, you said you're competitive. World domination. Okay. You try. Okay. I'm trying Pinky. to. So, <laughs> the, I'm the brain. Okay. <laughs> you be the brain. Exactly. But hey, I'm gonna tell you, hey. But hold on, hold on. Oh, hilarious. I've been the brain, baby. <laughs> but oh, but yo, hey. Pinky was an idiot savant. But anyway, keep going. <laughs> He I mean, he did, he did say he today a couple of times. Yeah. Pinky it? actually took over the world one time. Yes, he did. You ever watch that episode? I watched it all of so them. long ago. I've seen all of them, but I've seen I them all. I, I, I watch them again too. But anyway, yeah. I'm gonna let you guys in the course. So, so what's next? I mean, you know, one of the things. So as a, as this thing's been evolving, because one of I think one of the things I want to say is like the members have been helping to evolve what it's becoming. Okay. Um, okay. I just keep it within the boundaries of my, you know, the the, the goals, but I let the okay. members kind of dictate kind of the direction we go. Because oh, I love that. It's a, it, you know, this podcasting thing is a, it's living, right? You start yes, at, start at one point and then you're moving on to the next and ne- hopefully you're moving on to the next point, next point, next point. Right. So I can't, it can't just be stagnant. But, um, one of my, one of my biggest goals is, um, to make this organization a bridge for the diaspora. Okay. Um, connecting the Caribbean, uh, African, well, I hate to say African, but the continent of Africa. Yes. Um, even though, even our people in Southeast Asia, yes. Asia, Europe, because if, you know, I, I think this medium one has a low barrier of entry. We're all connected in some right. way. And I think, um, it's a great opportunity for us to express our voices, but also to come space. together and finally dispel all these myths yes. and stereotypes Please. and negative, negative things that we've, we've come to like, I just do know learn. who my baby fathers are. Yeah, uh, like for real. Well, I know who all my baby they mamas just are. Like so. them. Yeah, you know all your baby mamas. <laughs> like, you know your baby fathers. I know. Let them know. Every week, like for real. Stop Let them know. With me. Let them know. Stop playing with me. And the baby was early. Stop playing. Oh, y'all play too much. Y'all play way too much. I swear to God. Corey, welcome to all guys. Yes. Don't break back. Quada is. But that's just next to me. Just proving all this wrong <laughs> and telling the truth. Let them know. Yeah. He, he you was know, only like three months early, but he was on time. Like, what's the problem? <laughs> they, you know what I'm saying? I understand what you said. He was on time. A lot of people was at the at the hospital. Corey. <laughs> <laughs> All gas, no break. You never know why they was dead. Hilarious. <laughs> ah! You make me always say <laughs> what I'm about to say, and I be laughing in my head. She's off the hook. So Corey, you're going to crack up all day while you're here. Thank you once again for coming here. So... <laughs> what what have you been learning so you said now you're letting the, the group dictate itself i didn't know that that's awesome that you told me that so what have they been dictating so far in regards to what you've been learning from the group like what is it driving you to do 
more of? Um, so that just tells me you ain't you're not you haven't been you don't be in the group that much, man. Yeah. I be in the group like a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I be on the group because I stay in the group. So what do I, I stay in the group? What do you guys want? Who, alive, who, yo, who y'all really want, 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 want me to get? Who y'all want me to get? I let you all. You know why? Because I let y'all. I don't, you know what? Because which I need help with. Because honestly, I don't exactly. I don't yeah. know. Sometimes I feel like I'm just messing with you, bro. No, no, no. But you know, because because I'm on that motherfucker. I know, day. I know. You know, I, I always I click. To see all, I, I see who, I see who's on there, who's you not. See, yeah. You see who's on. Oh, I got all the analytics. You got all the analytics, and yeah. you know, my, I know I'm in the top joint. Yeah, I know. I'm okay, okay. So on, on you talking shit? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, all right, I like, mean, look, boy, I, shit. Like, all right, don't bust yeah. his bubble. Look, all He's I know is, look, he's sweating. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm watching. I'm watching. Now, like being on top. But uh, what was your question, yo? <laughs> what is it dictating? Like, what what what, what is the, everyone telling you to do in the group? What is the group well, dictating for you to do? My hands so right. I think, I think um, when you when you started, so first when I was doing the Facebook group, I was trying to force things, right? I was like, oh, I think this is what the group, this is what you guys need to learn, this is what you need, this is what you need. They tell you what they want, right? And um, and I was like, you know, I wasn't getting the engagement. I was like, why is this not working? Why are people not showing up? And I mean, I was gonna shut it up. It, every at least once a it week, I wake up and was like, "I'm shutting this down." It gets discouraging, All right? And you know, one of my friends at the time, she was like, she got tired of hearing me complain, and she was like, "Look, either you gonna shut this shit down, or you gonna you gonna figure, figure it, it out." out. Mm-hmm. And and it's always it's weird because it's always like every time I was like, "Yeah, I'm shutting it down." I already press the lead. Somebody hit me up, be like, "Yo, I love the group," or "This helped me a lot." Why so, is that? Because it's guidance. Why is it's that? guidance? You it. you, because it's even you if you feel you discouraged, it. yeah. I'm a spiritual person, it's right? It's touching yeah. somebody. I'm a very spiritual person. I'm not the religious person, but I'm yeah. spiritual. I'm spiritual myself. You know what I'm saying? Spiritual. And I feel like no matter what you go through, when you feel like you about to like, fuck this shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Something going to be like, nah, not right now. Somebody put the tip Something going to always tell you, yeah. nah, not right now. <laughs> and you be like, there it is. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> it's it's just, it's just, it's, just, it's just guiding you on that road you're supposed to be on. You know what I'm, thinking, I'm saying? Because if you, if you hit that left, it's like, nah, you, you hit your left too early. Right. Yeah. Hey, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You can't always hit it on the left. You understand? Sometimes you got to make a right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta make a right, boo. Oh man, she's a life. That's wild. life, though. <laughs> but, it, but, 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 it, but it is life. You do. Yeah. You never know when you gotta make that right. But when you when you like fuck it, I keep making the left. I keep making the left, and it's not hitting. And then somebody say something, and it, it redirects yeah. you. But but, exactly. but do you feel like we should exactly. start go, just walk walking into it, going fuck it, I'm quick. <laughs> you know what I mean? mean? No, because every because, day well, you gotta always put times, the work in. When well, I was no, in college, well, every day I quit. Well, I think and then it, I go to school. I think it, you know, I for me to, you know, some of it comes from my web dev background where, like, yeah. you know, as a programmer, you're hitting walls constantly, mm. and it's like sometimes That's right. you gotta have walls. You with the right girl, I like you. You you set her up. Set Good the job. Walls up. He said, he like I keep, walls. Oh, I keep, I keep, she just keeps walking through the door, and I keep <laughs> opening. You gotta tear it up every time. But you, but as a developer, <laughs> hold on, as a developer, you hit the walls constantly. Yes, uh-huh. the wall. I mean, you know, you like you might miss a comma or something like you know, mm. or you have a bug or something, and you're trying to figure it out, and it's like yeah. it, it challenges you. Make like I tell people all the time. Being a program is not for everybody because if you have a, a weak self esteem yes. or you don't have a if you're not confident in yourself, it'll be like you hit this wall and then you're like, I quit, I'm stupid and all this stuff, and then you figure out the answer and you're like, Oh, okay, I, I got this. I need to stop doing that thing. to myself. So like I brought that into the space and um so it was like when I hit that wall, you know, I'm like, I'm gonna quit. I don't like quitting. So it's yeah, like yeah. you know, you know, I'd be like I'm gonna delete it. It's like, nah, but and I, it was more like it was more selfish reason, but you know, as the, one day I was just like, you know what? I'm going to just let the group just do whatever it does. Yeah. Like you said, Where were you in this chapter of creating the association for you to, to to start thinking that way? Were you already at the subscription model or were you at the no. Facebook? We were still a Facebook group. It was like three months in, four months in. Mm. So this was like when COVID was like really, you know, the world was just going crazy. Everything was shutting down and people were just on the internet and you know, um, part of I think what it was, I think where where it was was um, when I first started the group, I didn't have any like 
any uh, boundaries or anything. So people were just posting everything and they were yeah. spamming the hell out. The- yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was just going through the post one day just to see what people were posting. And somebody had asked a question, but it was like two weeks yeah, before yeah. I saw it. Yeah. It was two weeks. I saw it two weeks after and I responded to them. And they never responded back. Yeah. So I felt like already lost I was like the whole life. purpose of this group was for a person that like he them. Heard. And it was like that I lose them. Mm. Right. Cause they never, they never responded. So I was like, they, they had this frustration. Nobody responded and yeah. they quit. Yeah. So I was like, after that, I shut everything down. I was like, no more spamming. We're going to control the conversation. And then um, that's when people started coming in and saying things. So to answer your question, how do I know? Um, I do heat checks. I, li- I, I listen to, you know, I listen to people's frustrations. I, li- I see the questions they answer, ask. So a lot of times, so sometimes when I do the workshops, I don't know if you know, you ever notice there might be a conversation going on and then I bring somebody in because I'm reading the comments. I'm like, okay, yeah. I think there's confusion here. Let me bring somebody in to talk about it. Or I might see something in, um, going on in the industry and I'm like, you know what? We need to address this. Like I did right. earlier this year when I had, um, when Talib and I had, um, reporters committee come in and do the thing on like slander and libel and all that stuff yeah, because yeah. it was right after that tasha k stuff so oh, okay yeah, yeah poor I, baby was crying yeah and i thought it was really <laughs> I, <laughs> I thought it was important for us because we have to understand we're responsible for the things we put on these podcasts yeah mm-hmm. we are and, yeah. and just because you're not in no name doesn't mean you can't be sued mm-hmm. yeah so you need to know. You need to be aware. At least, my thing is, as long as you're aware of it, if you choose not to, then you can't say nobody ain't tell you. That's right. Exactly. I always say someone told you. Someone know. Yeah. Even if by it's twenty twenty three at this point, you. you know this. You know, I, I'm. I have very small window of, of sympathy for people. Because you can't the internet send is... somebody burning and they not burning. That's oh, not true. Shit. The health department has a record if somebody is burning or if somebody is burning or and not. That's, and that's also HIPAA. You got to be yeah. careful with HIPAA, man. That's you right. got yeah. to respect HIPAA. There's laws. You that's know right. what I mean? You got to tell the... Um, at least three people I have you. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to go against HIPAA. We don't go against HIPAA here. Yo, son. So... Not HIV. Amen. Amen. So, we're going to talk about your full sale yes. and what you did in the past. Let's talk talk a little full bit about sale. he's a full sailor and what you did in the past full and a sailor. little bit of that Do you resume. have semen on your poop deck? Hilarious. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> First of all, congratulations for the full sale. I don't know what that means. So I'm y'all jealous. Full, full, sale uni- I'm jealous. full Sail University <laughs> in Winter Park, Florida. Oh, okay, okay. The school we was talking about. Yeah, the school we talking okay. about. Right. She shit, tells bro. us that joke every time. It just came to me. <laughs> my man, I did. I am not on my meds. Not tonight. We, yo, Corey, you you here late? So we've been we've been Look, chilling. It's Friday night. Amen. Amen. I drink tonight. So that. talk about like your resume leading up to this, uh, and what you know you also have you have a degree so and that's another thing we oh, like yes. to bring this to attention a lot of the the youth i don't say you have to have education but you'll have to have a, a trade something Be to, educated. Step, to step your game up yes. you know take it to the next level so what's the, what's so the, the question way? is tell us about your resume tell us about because i know you have a background in the music industry if you give me a little brief synopsis of all that good stuff well you know coming from queens in the 90s I had a rap group when i was in high school all right Right. Um, we had got signed to a, a management contract. Was trying to get signed to some labels. Um, you want to say the name of the group? I mean, we called ourselves Malice. That we, Malice. We, yeah, I like That's that. That's before. That was before. Uh, what's his name came out from? You know. Um, yeah, yeah, Malice. yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah Malice. But, uh, um, I like that. But then my boy left, and he went away to college. So we broke up. But my mm-hmm. other boy, um, he he still continued rhyming. And I was I really wanted to work in the studio. So my dream was to go to Full Sail back in like 95, 96. Ain't back... that old? Huh? Full Sail that old? 70s. Full way older. Yeah. Swear? Yeah, yeah, Full Sail was. So if you once you, once you go down there, because you're going to go, because I feel like you, you, you went to she's, it. She's gone. It was like a strip mall, like in the strip mall? It, was like it a... started off with a, um as a recording studio. If you look at the In the strip mall, right? You're talking about I the same remember. university? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they yeah. talking about where it began. In Florida, yeah. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. They started like late, like in the 70s. I forgot, I forgot the guy who founded, but he started in like the 70s. Hell was it man. Gary? I thought Gary and somebody else. I don't remember names, man. Oh, Gar- I didn't know that oh, it was, was Gary. Gary. Oh. Gar- Gar- Gary Jones, right? That's his name. Yeah. And, and somebody else. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, well, I couldn't afford it. So I, I couldn't afford go, it either. I wanted exactly. to go into Five it, Towns College in New York City. Okay. Um, 
I wasn't ready for school, to be honest, when I came straight out of high school. I barely made it through high school. Mm. I barely made it. I, I rarely went to class, but... Um, I ran through. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> All guys don't bring the quad. Quad is a killer. Well... <laughs> But um, so you know, I was chasing my rap dream, and then um, uh, met uh this me and my my friend's older brother. He was our producer and manager, and um, we happened to be in Flesh and Metal Park one one summer, and we met this dude named Big Les, and he was promoting for Def Jam, and wow. we, we stopped him, was talking to him, and we, that's how I wound up getting on the Def Jam Street Team, mm -hmm. um, back in ninety six to ninety seven. Um and was out there in the streets. I was part of the Foxy, you know, promoting the Foxy Brown project. Yes, yes, yes. Muddy Waters yes. with Redman. Um, Thank you. My guys, crew, who um I wound up going on tour, nice. on the Smoking nice. Grooves tour with us, tour support. But it was just a cool like year and a half. I was interning at Def Jam. Hell. Um, and I learned a lot about the music in the nineties. Yeah, I, I learned about a lot about the music industry. I also learned about <laughs> myself during that time period. Yeah. And um, I realized I wasn't built for it. <laughs> Why were you not built for it? I was young, stupid, angry, you know, I was going through a lot of stuff and I just didn't have the right personality to maximize. Like I had, a, I had the work ethic. I just didn't have the right personality to at the time. I like that you touched on that. There's a, I feel like there is a personality to work in that industry. You have to. You have to be a. Uh, what is that? What is that personality? How about me? I, I mean, like with any industry, you have the. You have well, primarily the, entertainment. Let's be talking about entertainment. Like open? Well, I can't just talk. You have the illusion and then you have what actually is. That's what I was going to mm -hmm. ask you about. Right? So I'm the seven. I was 18, 19 years old. I just thought music, you know, I just had. I didn't know what it was. So yeah. I went in there with, with an expectation and then. Look, business. I mean, it's business. It's and, business. And, you know, you, in that business, you know, you got, you got some real strong personalities and stuff. And I was a high head. So it was just. You were clashing. And, and then I got introduced to liquor and that just didn't that didn't help either. But um, you know, we was partying hard. <laughs> so um but you know, it was you know it was more me than it was the industry. It was like I just wasn't in the in the right space at that time. And I didn't have proper guidance to help me sit me down and be like, nah, yo, you have an opportunity, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. This is how you move, this is how you do it. So but I just thought hard work paid what? off and it was more it's more like, you know, you gotta know how to talk to people, you gotta know how to Network and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, what you're right. Made so. you, what, what changed you? What settled you down or, or got you to that point where you were trying to actually help instead of trying to hinder the situation? Oh, my, my son. Yeah. You got a kid. Yeah. Yeah, that's, ain't that a rude awakening type yeah. shit? And I wasn't trying to be like it's my dad, rude. so it was like, you know. <laughs> rude. <laughs> it's very rude. <laughs> it's a rude awakening. <laughs> rude awakening. And, you know, and yes. I, wasn't, I wasn't trying to be like my dad, so it was like, you know. You, okay, you, you changed to, it. Yeah, you know, I made a promise that I wasn't going to be like him, so you had to. That's beautiful. You had to force your, I had to force myself to be a certain way. Yeah. You either go this way you grow or up. You mature. Yeah, you do. So how, how do you Some apply do. what you've learned and the new you to what we're doing here now, what you're doing now? I mean, life is experiences, right? So the goal is to have an experience and learn a lesson from it. So, I mean, I've done a lot of things. I've started, I've, I've had numerous failed businesses, so... Entrepreneurs normally do. You yeah, can't spell so, million without two L's. You know, I would right. try yeah, something. Yeah, um, I would try to do something, and it would fail, or I didn't. Oh, I didn't put enough effort, or I, I let something stop me. So, yes. you know, I just learned like like to just take those lessons and figure out how to bring them to to what I'm doing now. What's making you not stop now? Oh, you love that question. I got too much money invested. Is oh. it only the money invested? No, nah, I mean, look, I enjoy what I do. I'm I passionate about. I've, I've this has been this has been yeah. like the culmination of me bringing everything I've learned, everything, all my experiences. I, I always think, you know, I walked in and saw the studio. Like I said, it's your baby. You know, that's that's always been my first love. So yeah. I've, I've 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 figured out how to bring all this stuff together, and and to be honest with you, and that's why I say founder with a big F because it's no longer about me. I'm responsible for other people. It's bigger than that. You know, and it's it's being a leader. It's it's leadership. So it's like. You know, like you're telling, you're talking about your experience, right? And how I helped you with that. I can't just be like, I'm walking away from that, you know, whether I want to or not. I just, if I want to walk away, I got to figure out how to set up the infrastructure that allows it to still exist without me, you know, and that's what a true business is. It's supposed to, it's supposed to exist without, you know, it's not supposed to be a job. So that's what I'm working on now. But, you know, it's, it's just bringing all these, these, these experiences and saying, 
what was the lesson learned? And then I got like my man Jay. I got great people around me that help me and that I could go. What's up, to. Jay? Shout out to Jay. Jay in the um, house. Ask people, you know, questions or learn from them or they educate me on things. And it's like, okay, how can I bring that to what I'm doing? Dope, Corey, man. Hey. Corey, I like you. You know I like you, man. You're my man. My man, 50 grand. Yes. Yo, Corey, you got questions. Ask us questions too, because our interviews is, you know, like that as well. We don't like to be stiff with that shit. So, I got a question. Oh, sure. oh ask, that, ask that question, madam. What's your why? My why? Your why. For, for what I'm doing? Exactly. For keep going. What's your why? Mm-hmm. Well, all right. Say sweet talk. What do you know about that all gas, no brakes? Man, I heard about that all gas, no brakes. I don't think they gonna let me on. I ain't got a damn thing to talk about. Ooh, they talk about everything. This is all gas, no brakes. Oh, don't stop on the brakes. Don't stop on the brakes. Huh? What up, my boy?